I have to ask this since I don't keep up. Is there anything in the news worthy no. of actually no. even talking no, not, about? No, uh, nothing other than the USDA rescinded their order on not bringing animals back from Canada. You got, hey, <laughs> look at you making a difference. I don't think it was me. <laughs> no, I'm saying it was you. I think uh, finally uh, common sense and logic ruled on that one. Uh, but, yeah, they did. So, well. I'd say good job. But well, hey, good uh, step forward for mankind. Step forward. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Well, I'm... more importantly than that, we have a guest today. Do we? I haven't noticed. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, back by popular demand. By popular demand. Size truth sayer. Christine's back with us. Christine. Yo. How are you? Uh, okay. Yo. <laughs> ah. She, did you hear, she was already spitting truth this morning before we even started. No headphones on. No, I ain't heard. Oh, uh, it was a good one. Oh, uh, yeah. Apparently, Cy wasn't being all that truthful down in Houston. About what? About his, how much, how tall he is. Oh. <laughs> I was hoping it was what? about the bowel movements. I was hoping no, he added some to them four no, days. No, no. <laughs> no, I started to call him and let him know. What? Uh, about, hey, I've yeah. had a bowel movement since I've oh, seen you last. Oh, I thought you were going to tell him that you were shorter than what you really said. <laughs> no. No, he doesn't uh, admit it yet. Uh, so Cy si told him, Cy, si, how tall are you? 6'3". Not a chance. No. Yeah. I'm 6'4". Right. And he comes up probably to your shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll give you six foot. I ain't going to give hey, you much uh, more than that. <laughs> but you used to be 6'3". Used to. I actually live, you know, 74 years, and now I'm just finding out, well... You hadn't lived it really right. <laughs> the correct <laughs> way. <laughs> Your version does not stack up. Now, I bet if we hung you upside down for about an hour and then we oh, flipped yeah. you up real yeah. quick and measured yeah. you, you'd it probably be about 6'3". That's right. That'd be 6'3". But as soon as all your muscles got back to where they needed to be, <laughs> you'd be about six foot. I don't well, hey, I'll, start, I'll put it this way. I'll start out 6'3", and then poor posture. Okay, I may be 6'1 now. There you go. Well, I know that that's a true thing. It can happen because yeah. yesterday we killed an alligator. Did you? Yeah, a big one. Big one. Big one. And when we measured him first time, he was 12 8 just laying on the ground. Well, then we found out the way to measure him is to hang him so that everything relaxes. So you hang him, suspend him up in the air, and then you measure him. And 13 2. Oh, he actually so grew a foot and he, two inches. He grew, he grew six inches. Yeah, he was 12-8 on the ground oh, and was 12, thir eight. Okay. And 13 two yeah. whenever. So he has six inches of stretch in it. That's a horse. That's a, it, he's a big one. Yeah. And the cool, uh, he weighed like 600 pounds, a little over 600. Did you but him up? he was poor because he should have been more than that. But what was cool is he was actually a released alligator from 1998. 1998 is when he was released. Yeah, he had toe tags in, so we were able to uh, pop that the toe. That thing's older than me. That's what I'm talking about. 1998, that alligator was 20. He avoided us for 25 years, 24 years, 24 years. He. That was over in. in uh, that's where we duck hunt. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've been walking around that big rascal. When I was driving around that, that's what swirled. Yeah, probably. Because he he swirled, and I'm telling you, it was it was big as this. Between me and you and J.D. Yeah, he was a big one. Look, he robbed our line three times before we caught him. He got that chicken. He got three free pieces of chicken before we got him. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, I ain't ever had one of them slip yeah. me. <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> Stone's cool. peeking in the room. Oh, Stone. <laughs> Stone, the... the... Hey, give me your key. Uh -oh. oh, I got everything. Everything's in. You want you want the truck, though? Yeah. Stone's look at, Stone's oh, yeah. getting size keys. Come on, here. Come on in there and get it. <laughs> this is this is what I'm talking about. <laughs> this is just real life stuff. Yeah, hey, it's fine. This is good. So, Miss Christine, uh, yes. since we have you here, we got to talk to you. How was Size? Si size says he's feeling better, feeling great. Was he a good patient? Oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, hey, I'll tell you, I've never claimed to be a good student for teachers or a good patient for doctors and, and nurses. Or... Or a good patient for your wife? He slept. Oh, hey. He slept. Look, yeah, the me. woman, hey, the day she run up on me was the luckiest day in her life. <laughs> okay. This woman has had, have, had the best life there is. All the life that she'll ever need. Okay. You know, uh -huh. Be treated like a queen uh -huh. okay, her whole life. 
Uh-huh. You know, waited on hand and foot. I've been trying oh. to tell Alex. Yeah. yeah, you Robertsons are known for being servants. Oh, oh yes, oh, what aren't are you they? About? Whoa. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> yeah. This one, this one does, okay? I'm not mean like the rest of them. <laughs> Well, he's not. I ain't I'm, saying, not. I'm not calling the rest of them mean. Oh, they are. I will. Because okay. I'm one of them. Yeah, well, you can. Okay. I, can. I still need a paycheck. So. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, uh, I very will. Very nice gentleman. Yeah, very nice. <laughs> just not. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, All right. Moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving, so, moving so, way on. But Houston, how well, was it from your perspective? He did okay because... When I was in the room, he would sleep. Which is one thing that I am really good at. Uh, he, he'd win the I title perf- for that. Yeah, I've perfected that, okay? for you know, I mean, if you got a nap every day and you, you work for the government in, as a soldier. It's impressive. Hey, that's impressive, boys. I don't care who you are. How much noise did he make in there? Not much. Not much. But I did learn something that... I did not notice before. Oh, my. my. Oh, oh. Color, me, well, color me interested. I hope you're yes. wearing your seatbelts, folks. Yeah. Well, I had my chair that I was sitting in close to his bed, so I'm sitting straight onto his head. I did not notice that his ears were so big. <laughs> Do you have big ears? I've always had big ears. Take I- him headphones off. I guess I've never noticed. Oh, long ears. What's up, Legolas? I look like Mickey Mouse, okay? But they, they don't go out here. They long. Well, they used to. They're just like an elf. Yeah. Look, used to like an elephant. An <laughs> elephant? If I could have done them like them elephants do to cool themselves. Because they actually, elephants actually wave their ears to cool themselves. And back to planet Earth we go. Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, I'm aware of that one because all the blood's in their ears. So that cools their cools the blood, which well, cools the rest of That's why they're always body. throwing water on their self and mud. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's to cool and keep all the insects off of them. There you go. But Africa's having a difficult time. No, no, I'm serious. The PBS, segues of this PBS show are wild, again. man. Okay. And, it, and what it is, look, it's the Marsh Pride of Lions. Okay. Okay. They've they got these Pride of Lions that actually live in the marsh. Well, the human being, leave it be to him, they've started poisoning animals in what? Africa. Why would they do that? Because they're stupid. On purpose? No, no, on purpose. Okay. And here's what it is. It's a trickle-down effect. Okay, because that animal dies. Then the vultures, okay, other creatures eat them. Mm -hmm. And then it's just a, you know, then it's a whole lot of things dying. And it's actually, you know. What are they using, like Timic or something like that's outlawed here? Some kind of stupid poison is all I know. Yeah, that's what happened here. You know, I mean, like you poison whatever, coyotes or whatever. And then the eagle comes and lands to to scavenge, yeah, yeah, and then the eagle dead, yep, and then the worms are dead, oh yeah, and then yeah, just yeah, you know, and then the cleanup crew, the which is the vultures, okay, yeah. you know their their population is down, you know, you can so, put those back on now. So we don't want to human see your ears. beings, <laughs> you, know, you know, need to wise up. That's true. Crying out loud, I'm just fascinated that after fifty two. Yep. 52 years of marriage that now we know you got big ears. And now you know he's got no excuse for not listening to you. I think that's <laughs> something. Oh, I've always, the Robertson have always had what you call, okay? We all, everybody in the office, oh, he's deaf. You like to say it, speak louder. And and Mama was the one that said it. Said, no, he's not deaf. He's got what I call selective hearing. He only tunes in. When I am saying something that he wants to hear. Otherwise, he is tuned out. Is that true, Christine? It used to be. Now he just Selective don't hear nothing. hearing. Uh, not much. Yeah. Yeah, now, I'm just, to, now I'm just deaf. <laughs> I had to leave the kitchen, walk around two counters, walk past two counters to get into the living room. When I want to say something to him or to answer a question he's asked, I have to leave the kitchen. Go stand in front of the couch. In front of the TV. To talk to him. Mm-hmm. No, he turns it down. Oh. I mean, he turns the sound off. But every time, I have to do that. Otherwise, he doesn't hear me. So I ask him, 
Why don't you get hearing aids? It would be so much easier on everybody. And he goes back to when he got them 40 years ago in the military. And that didn't work so well. But they're different now. I told him, I said, you know, everything's come, it's better. Well, I ought to go try it one more time. You yes, you should try it one more Let's time. Let's take a break so I si can recover from his criticism. <laughs> and we'll be back right well, after ain't this. no recovery. Don't worry about it. <laughs> si, yeah. you've been recovering from your surgery. Yep. You feel good? How you been sleeping? Pretty good. Because, hey, I've got one of them nice, firm cloud mattresses. There you go. Helix. Firm. Okay. You Look, know they're good hey, if it's described as hey, firm I as a cloud. I have nightmares. Listen, guys, I have a nightmare that one of these <laughs> nights I'm going to get in it, and I'm going to fall from the sky because it's just a cloud. But it's also okay. firm. <laughs> but it's so firm, okay? You want to know why it feels that hey. way? Because he took that test, well, and it, hey. they made it. Exactly what he needed. Custom for how fitted is the name, sleep. boys. Custom fitted, tailor made. Which is the whole point of Helix's deal. You don't want a mattress built for somebody else. Mattresses ain't one size fits most. It's custom for everybody. All you have to do is get on their website, take a two minute quiz. They they produce the results that you want and you need. It gets shipped to your door. Shows up. You ain't got to go to a mattress store. You ain't got to do none of that. You just cut it open and put it where you want it. And get the best night's sleep you've ever had. That's right. I guarantee you. Look, Cy, he's a firm guy. Johnny D's soft guy. I, My wife is soft and I'm firm, so we got medium. We compromised. We had, to, we had to go somewhere in the middle for all of that. Look, it is a great thing. If you're looking for a mattress, take the quiz. Order the mattress that you're matched to. The mattress comes right to your door, ship for free. You never have to go again. You can put all the fake lemon you want in it. It's unbelievable. It's well, <laughs> but, talking about that, I'm fixing to put three of them in mine. Size, take a break. <laughs> oh, man. Helix is awesome, but you don't have to take our word for it. Look, Helix was awarded the number one best overall mattress pick of 2020 by GQ and Wired Magazine. Helix has been recommended by multiple leading chiropractors and doctors of sleep medicine as a go-to solution for improving sleep. All you have to do is go to helixsleep.com slash duck. Take their two-minute sleep quiz, and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. They even have a 10-year warranty, and you get to try it out for 100 nights risk-free. If you don't like it, they'll come get it, but don't worry. They ain't coming back to get it because you're going to love it. Helix is offering up to $200 off right now, all mattress orders, and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com slash duck. That's helixsleep.com slash duck. People are getting like leg implants. Yes. To get taller. Yes. Man, I would have been better. Do at they want back problems? I know. I, I. Being tall is cool and all, but like, I well, can't. I can't believe can't the doctor. Fit, you can't would, fit a lot of places. Like it's it's. <laughs> it, it, the ideal somewhere for what we do is somewhere around five eleven or six foot. Yeah. Because you can fit anywhere then on things we do. Now me going duck hunting down there. No, that's why I, I can't fit in them blinds. I got no. I got lay like this, and then when I get in there, I show sure can't stand up. So it's like and flying on an airplane. Yeah. yeah, heck yeah. The last thing you want is longer legs. Like unbelievable. But people are actually going and getting taller. Yeah, that's wild. I can't believe a doctor is doing it. Yeah. And it's a waste of money. Well, because you're gonna shrink eventually. Gravity yeah. gonna get you, ain't it? That's it. Hey. Yeah. Oh, they drill holes and break your legs. I don't need to know how. They break your legs oh, and yeah. make you That's tall. one of them yeah. deals. I don't need to know how the sausage is made. Yeah. I, <laughs> ow. Yeah. Really? Now, I knew they did that for people that have, like, medical conditions. They'll right. break stuff and, like, make it just so you get to average. Yeah. Not not above average. Uh, you know. That's wild, man. It's like Jurassic Park. What? We, we wondered if we could. We didn't think if we should. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there Very true. Very true. <laughs> Jurassic Park would be cool though. Yeah, I'd go. Except for that last movie. Anyways, yeah. um, Man, you tell where are we me going I, from here? I don't really know. I tell I, you what, we had Sunday. We had a little trial run. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Brittany was supposed to be here today. Yeah, she ain't. She ain't coming. That's uh, all right. She, but yeah, we had a little trial run Sunday. I, I make it to the hospital pretty quick. 
You, okay. So yeah. We made it all the way to the hospital. Oh, good to go. You, no. get, you found your chair. Did you get comfortable? No, oh, I did not. But did. I made a list of necessities if if we end up in that kind of room again. You're going to end up in that kind I of was, room. I was taking notes. I said, yeah. okay, here's what I need. Yeah. Step one, pillow. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. My own, my very own pillow. But other than that, I can pretty well survive. But I gotta have me a pillar. But that, that's my a, pillow. Yeah. And then yeah. What does Brittany need? Oh, she got a whole list of stuff, and I, I, yeah, we filled up a bag for her, for her and them youngins. We got a we got a big bag for them. Mine's yeah. just a backpack. I need phone charger and a pillow, and I pretty well make it for a okay. few days. I make it for a few days on that. You know, whatever. What are the rules in the hospital? Can I, I, I can... There was a bunch of people up there. Okay. Yeah. So I... there was babies being born, apparently, uh, while we were there. There was a bunch of people up there. We just, we, we went on past So there. people can bring you food and what? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Because uh, yeah, Hospital food? Yeah. Hey, if I'm paying for Which it, so I, I'm going hey, to get me some chicken noodle soup and some mac and cheese. Did you have to eat the hospital food? No, he did, but he liked the macaroni and cheese. Well, he is a child. Really like that. When I go up here, I think I probably will throw a bottle of this in my bag. The W sauce. <laughs> yeah. Just in case they end up with some chicken nuggets and I need something to dip it in. Or or you know? that uh the they they call it hamburger steak at the hospital. And it's I don't know what it's it neither is. hamburger nor steak. <laughs> you need you need some <laughs> There's something need, in between. You need the healthy t- taste of good on top of that. Okay, good. And well, W sauce could save that. Well, my my little Yeti bag has got a bottle holder right on the side of it, and I don't figure I need a water bottle, so Take it, it, it go just go. it just go right in there. It's it's pretty much replacing like, like Willie, only sachets for me. Willie got all them uh, Popeyes the s- s- seasoning packets in yeah. his backpack. I wonder if he still has those. Probably, unless he got a unless he got a new backpack. Yes, these Robertsons are bad about hoarding packs and stuff. Hey, that man got seventy five packs of lemon in his pocket right now, guaranteed. He got a whole bushel of them. No, oh, no, <laughs> we've upgraded to a bag. Hey, it ain't in a pocket. It's in a bag. Papa's got a brand new bag, baby. It's full of lemon. And it used to be the court. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, the judge. Yeah, now, no, the court of bag. Yeah, the lemon. Oh, oh, now he's got it in a gallon. Oh. All right. It's just easier yeah, to handle. He loves lemons. Yeah, it's just easier to handle. Yeah, I used to get tripped out when he'd take that real lemon juice and just go and take a oh. shot of it. I'm like, oh, man, a dash of that stuff would go a long way. Oh, yeah. But I don't know how many restaurants I've been to with Cy where he's like, unsweet tea and four lemons. And they're like, four wedges? No, four lemons. Yeah, no, I, I had to tell him, I said, hey, you allowed to say, hey. Look, sweet on sweet tea with, with lemon. Uh huh. Yeah, so they come in there with one little slice. I said, now I tell them, okay, unsweet a glass of unsweet tea and bring me a platter of lemons. And he yes. says that he squeezes yeah. and then yeah. he eats. Yeah. yeah. Platter. Put the juice in the in the tea and then eat the lemon. Would you call it a platter? And then go, wow, that was a go. The man loves acid. Hey. It's the only Vinegar. thing I can figure. You Vinegar. Is in lemon juice is in. I need to hear Miss Crane, Miss Christine, talk about your stomach real fast. It's it's iron. <laughs> it's oh, iron. The only man. thing harder than his stomach are his kidneys. I can and, assure you that uh, they, he's got a bulletproof lower plumbing uh, section. I can assure you that hot peppers. Hot yeah, peppers. That's what I'm saying. Oh no, hot peppers. Hot and a man can go four days without a BM. That's unbelievable. Right. Eating that, and doing that. I had to figure out what you were talking about again. Well, I didn't <laughs> want to say bowel movement again. I, just, right, I shortened it for B.E. I thought he got short, off black and mild a long time ago. Oh, yeah. I don't know. He ever, I know. He was on them Have a Tampas. Have a Tampa Gold oh. Jewels. That's a good cigar. See? That's what I'm yeah, saying. That's a good cigar. I remember Sai said, yeah, I quit smoking. He pulled out a box of cigars. <laughs> I was like, no, you didn't. <laughs> he said, well, it ain't cigarettes. <laughs> I got tickled. Well, it ain't as many. Yeah, it ain't as many. I will say There's this: 20, they, they 20 smell to better. A pack of Winston's, okay. Yeah. These are only five to a pack. And, you know, yeah, I may smoke two a day. Yeah. But now you're just no old now, turkey. Off of off. When you quit, when did you just quit? December. After my heart attack and uh, no. open heart surgery. It it took him eleven months. Okay. Yeah. He had his surgery at the end of January. And December of that that's when he year. got on the cigars. 
Remember, he because he had his surgery, yeah. he said, oh, these cigars are better for you. Because we do get a lot of emails like asking, like, how you quit? He threw them and away. now that Miss Christine's here, I feel like we can get maybe the truth. No, he threw them away. He did. He yeah, he threw them know. away. He said, I'm not going to smoke anymore, just like his mother did. His mother did the same thing. Kudos to him because I can't. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, he just decided December of 2005, no more, and he stopped. Mm-hmm. Just a hard to say. That's awesome. And they said, okay, yeah, 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 you know, you never get rid of it. Yeah, you do. <laughs> no. You always You won't. offered me a pack of them right now and say, throw, the, throw that garbage in the trash. Because if not, I'll smoke every yeah. one of them. You know. <laughs> right. No, I really, I really don't miss them because it's, it's stupid to do it, okay, because now I've got lung problems. Yeah. But, hey, you got yeah. fixed up. Well, hey, I got are fixed, you breathing you know, better this week? Oh, yeah. I hadn't seen yeah. you in, like, a week, yeah. a week ish. Yeah, he looked. You look a lot better. Well, I, I just, it was like when COVID hit me. Okay, a microscopic bug bit me, and when it did, there was a mass escaped from my body of energy, and that was all the energy that was there. It was, hey, we're leaving this joint. <laughs> you know, well, that's where I'm at right now. Yep. It left and. You know, and I talked to Dr. Connolly, and he said, well, it's going to probably take you about ooh, 45, 45 days Forty-five days to get over this. And what are we now? We, we and hey, about what, 15 four, days? 14. 20, 14. Yeah. But I have, okay, I think so far this today, I may have quit spitting blood. Good. That's good. That's a big step. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Philip called the nurse and asked about it, you know, and she said, as long as it's dark, dark in color, as someone who has seen it, it was very okay. dark. And the last one I did, okay, was just mucus, okay, and it was clear. Well, good. Yeah. But she said, you'll probably cough up more mucus because it's been laying in the bottom of your lungs. That's so same I, thing I told him, but he didn't believe me. I yeah, wonder why. He had to have Philip call. He's, he's size one of the, he big into Missouri. that. Missouri. He, yeah. he big into no. that trust, but verify. Yeah. Yes. That's right. That's yes. Right. That's right. <laughs> He's big into that statement. You, I, I I don't take anybody on their word. Yeah, I, I trust you, but let me verify. Right. Yeah, let's, let's verify it. Yeah, let's verify. Oh man! Because when he started doing it, I told him that's normal. Well, no, no. The doctor had told me you will spit up a while. You know, and I was thinking. I said, okay, wait a minute, but I didn't think about two okay. days. He he was thinking, you know, two well, days it's over. There was no cutting involved. This is a this is a implant. This is not surgery. I hate to tell you, when they put that rascal in there, it cut some stuff. Yes. Well, <laughs> well, no, it just you know, irritation. I would say what it happened. Yeah. Yeah. And there was a little blood. Yeah. Hey, that's good though. You back? Yes. You good? You look great today. I, I mean, every time I see you, you looking a little better. So that's well, good. I just keep going because this weekend down in Houston, we, where we were staying, the elevators wasn't working. Okay, so we had to walk past these for Ew. a walk in, way down the hallway, go around and come around and go around and go up the service elevator. Okay, but at least it was close to the room. There you that go. was one good thing, but it was a long walk, and that wasn't any fun. I, I you know, can... So I've done that seven or eight times this weekend, so yeah. I got my exercise in. You good getting your steps back yeah, in? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I got my exercise in. Uh, you ain't even gonna have to have that QB no more. So. Well, let's uh, let's take a break. We'll be back right after this. Don, huh? You got any pain in your body? Yeah. Anywhere? Where at? My shoulders. Shoulder joints, boys. Look, you got a bunch of them. And hey, look, here's a flash news flash for you. News flash. Oh, Uncle Size got the answer for you. What, what is, is it? it? <laughs> and it's found only one place on this earth. Where is Zealand, it? Pristine waters. And it's called Omega XL. I call them my first responders. Number one. Look, I take two a day. Okay. I found the fountain of youth, boys. It's Omega XL. Because look, you got SPMs in your body. Okay. When you get my age, they ain't uh, producing like they should have. Okay. So, hey. They've come up with the Mega XL. It's come up with a process, okay? It comes from the muscles in the ocean. They got a process. They fix it up, and it turns into two small little pills, or you can take up to six of them. I'm talking about, hey, first responders. 
sirens, 150 miles an hour to the area of inflammation, like your wrist joints, your knee joints, your shoulder joints, and as soon as they get there, the pain is gone. Okay, so hey, look, I'm going to turn it over to Mark now, and he can tell you where to get this amazing product. All right, for a little more relaxed version of where you can find this awesome product, Omega XL. Look, I'll tell you right now, my mom takes it every night now. My mom takes it all the time. You came up here the other day just to get some more. Yeah, I my mom. You made a special trip to drop me off a gift and get more Omega My mom said, go, go over to Duck Commander and grab some. Yeah, so there you go. Look, it does work. Everybody's using it. We have users email us all the time and say how good it's been for them. Stone takes it. Look, if you got pain, inflammation, it can help you out. There ain't no doubt about it. Look, you can order Omega XL right now. Get a second bottle for free. Not one, but two. Second one's free. All you have to do is visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1-800-844-4888. For not one. But two bottles, and the second one is free, baby. Why wouldn't you? So Sai is recovering. Yep. Do, do you do you like when he goes out of town on a hunting trip? I'm just curious. Is it a lot quieter around? Oh my there? gosh. <laughs> <laughs> do you pack his bag sometimes? <laughs> yeah, the first thing I do when he leaves is I turn on my music because I can't listen to my music with that TV going. Okay. What's your music? That yep. That's where uh, I was going. <laughs> look, I love bluegrass. Oh, that's what's up. Here's last night for She what is happened. from Kentucky. Yeah. I could just come in, okay, and I talked about, oh, about 4 o'clock. You know, I got in about 3, about 5, I guess. I said, babe, what are you, what are you cooking for? Uh, I said, what are you cooking for supper? And she said, well, I, I said, I'd like to have hot dogs, about three of them. You know, she went in there later and told me, oh, hot dogs are out, babe. I ain't got any hot dogs. I said, well, hey, whatever you want to fix. She said, well, I'll fix you grilled ham and cheese. And I said, that's fine. And I said one, but she fixed two. You know, when she brought it to me, she wanted anything else. I said, well, what about some fresh tomatoes cut up with salt and pepper? You know, so she gave me that, you know, and she said, need anything else? I said, no, I'm good. I'm good. You know. that but kind that's of usually treatment. the way it goes. So I finished the sandwiches and the tomatoes, okay? And just as soon as I did, she said, let me get this temptation out of your way, cause if she leaves the plate, plate and fork, a fork, I go into a, I go into my drummer. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Just, she said, so let me yes. go ahead and remove the temptation, drummer. I have the same problem at my house, but he's you know, eight. Do little, they, little drummer boy. <laughs> do they make yes. rubber forks and plates? Yeah, they do. Oh, where so I can just, and you never hear. It. He can do oh, that. No, I can he, even make it where you, you can hear that. A plastic fork, he can use it on the table. Hey, the worst thing she ever, she mistreated me, the worst she ever mistreated me during the show, Duck Dynasty. Oh, I know whatever, what this is. Whatever I did, okay, because the episode where me and Willie go to Mountain Man's radio show, there was one of these where the reception sits. So as soon as I see it. She's I, having flashbacks, folks. You know, I told myself, I said, I'm fixing to drive Willie and Mountain Man insane because I'm going to ring that stupid bell the whole time I'm here. So they aired that episode, and guess what? A fan took the time to go down to the Lowe's, buy some about a 1 by 12 board, real nice, sand it down, varnish it, okay? This guy spent a lot of time on it and put 12 bells on it. She get all, all different three. sizes. Wait, all, hey, all different sizes. Time out before you go any further. Yeah, how many bells were on it, Christine? Three. Okay. Oh, good grief. Okay. Anyway, right, look. Keep, keep going, sir. Hey, and it Bongo exactly bells was only three. Hey, it exactly fit my recliner from arm to arm. So I would come in from filming, get my I call them my bongo bells. All three I, of them. All five. No, all 12 of them. Okay. But anyway, I'd get them. And look, I had been doing this for about a month, and I was really getting good at it. Okay? I'd come in and Quick play. Quick question. Drum roll on the bells, bongo bells, and then play my songs. 
How does one get good at that? What is it? All right, just practice my perfect. You were playing actual music? Oh, yeah, it was He good. thought. It was good, too. But anyway, I come home one day after about a month, and I said, Babe, what did Tina, the housekeeper, do with my bongo bells? She said, Tina didn't do nothing with them. And I said, well, what happened to them? She said, I threw them in the garbage, and the garbage has run. It's gone. <laughs> yeah. And I said, you're joking, right? And she said, uh-uh. She said, I figured I had the way I looked at it. I, let's see, I had three objects, uh, options. She said, I could divorce you. Which, she said, I thought about that for a minute. She said, but then I threw that out. So I said, okay, the other one was, okay, is I could make you live in one part of the house and I live in the other part of the house. And that wouldn't work. And I didn't house. like that either. So she said, it was only one option left. Trash can, the bells. Yes. That does sound like the, the better option. She threw my bells away. So, Christine, would you describe them as hell's bells? Oh, my gosh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you just don't like music. I do. I had got good. She just told you she loves bluegrass. Oh, right. Well, hey, I can't play good bluegrass on bell, bongo bells. Why not? Oh, Allison wow. Krause probably could. I, well, she probably could. <laughs> I'm telling you, here it is. Her in a railroad station, whatever it is. Uh -huh. That she, their band. Yeah. Yeah, they can play anything, boys. I love music. <laughs> your music isn't music. <laughs> He's is just noise, ain't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. good grief. Yeah. I well, mean, just this. I need so there were only three bells. There were only three. Did it fit across his recliner, though? No. No, just in his lap, probably. Just in his lap. Yeah. Yes, I mean, he just... Just ding, 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 ding. I love size mine. Hey, just that just shows you how positive of a guy he is. He sees more in every situation. <laughs> yeah. Right. You know, the rest of us are looking at it, and we see less. Si looks at three, sees a dozen. It fits right. in his lap. He says it goes across his chair. That is his personality He's in not a, a nutshell. cup yes. half full, man. No, it's right. full. It's positive, It's baby. always positive. Yeah, his cup is full. It ain't ever been half nothing. It just proved my point that the cops say, hey, I wait this report, sir. No good. <laughs> I still love you, though. <laughs> oh, oh, the mystery yeah. of the bongo oh. bells that is fan oh. i want i need somebody to send a new we're gonna keep it here no, okay we're not. i will not let them take it home but Thank take you. the ringers out of them I, well i just want to see how good i want well, to ain't no the, good you gotta have more than make noise I want to hear the music that he could play. I ought to buy me a set of really bongo, now, if you, bongo drums. If you want to hear the music that he can make on a bells, go go listen to a horse walking down the street with that thing of bells on. That's what it's going to sound clock, like. Clock, clip it clock. Yeah. I mean, well, the clock, fact that you never go clock. shopping, yeah, you'll you never, never be able to get the bongo drums unless somebody sends them to you, and then I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> we're going to keep them here. Don't waste your money, folks. She's going to yeah. throw them away. <laughs> as, as much as I'd enjoy them and thank you for them, but hey, she's going to throw them away. So when That's you right. pass on and they go to play taps, you want it done on drums, on bongo bells? No, I enjoy it. That's, that's a good song, but it, it's a sad one. But it, it is. is. It's it is. A, a bugle. Oh. Yeah, it's a got bugle. Got to be a bugle. Yeah. I just didn't know if Cy si wanted to remix. You know, he's got a vibrant personality. Oh, no, hey, they could add drums to it. It wouldn't bother me at all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, oh, hey, put all the bells and whistles on it, too. Hey, yo. Everything. Yeah, Let's everything. have a full band for it, that's why it. don't we? That's it. We'll start with a bugle. Well, right. and, and the 21-gun salute should be shotguns. Yeah. Oh, no, go ahead and kick them up and put them on cannons. <laughs> oh, feel that's good gonna, about yourself, don't you? That's going to hey, if, hey, hey, if you're going to throw a party, let's throw a party, you know? <laughs> Oh, well, I know those things are supposed to be celebrations of life, but boy, when you go, this world's going to be a little bit darker. I well, I know one person that. that, hey, he's going to quit hunting. You know, Who's that, Stone? Yeah, yes. Stone is out when I die. Yeah. He ain't yeah. going no more. Yeah, your caddy is gone. That's right. The caddy's gone, boys. Yeah. yeah. Well, we got like a decade, so. Yeah. Oh. Probably two. I'm sorry, I may, no. come, may hey. come to mine, especially if his house don't get finished. <laughs> I may have about two weeks on the left on this earth. I don't know yet, but Brittany Ooh. gonna get you. Oh, buddy! Well, the good thing about it is mm. his genetics has long lasting. Mm -hmm. The ones who were not mentally ill. Well, yeah. they say I've been mentally ill. 
mentally ill since I birth. That's probably true. <laughs> well, I'm just saying they've said that, okay? Well, you they, live uh, with him. Well, hey, look, I tried to be normal. No, you haven't. No, no, I did. I'm saying. Oh, no, just for like a day. No, no. I'm when? saying. Time no. out. When? Oh, when? no. Yeah, time out. Time out. Let's take a break. Okay. And we want to hear it. I'm just going to say this. I love meat. I do, too. Right. Don't you? No, we yeah. don't. You Stone. Love, I mean. Meat si, eater from way back. Yep. Si hey. loves to eat meat. He ain't going to cook it. But hey, if we cook not. it, he'll show up. If Stone cook it, I'll show up. That's what I'm talking about. That's Look. I'm talking about, boy. And what is better than getting meat delivered to your door? There's nothing better than anything delivered mm. to your door. Especially it? if it's grass-fed, grass-finished. Wild caught. What are we talking about? You know what we're talking about. We're talking about our friends over at Moink. Moink Box. They they kill it. The stuff is so good. And the reason it's so good is because Moink farmers farm like our grandparents did. And as a result, Moink meat tastes like it should because the family farm just does it better. You got to check stuff when you're at the grocery store and see where it's from. Oh, yeah. Country I got, of origin. I got crawfish from... It wasn't here. Yeah. Let's just say Let's that. Say and that. with Moink Box, you're guaranteed it's U.S. farm-raised... From great farmers all around this country. America. They even tell you where it comes from. Yeah. That's the cool part. It's you like can be like. Missouri, Kentucky. Yeah. That dadgum Kansas chicken was fire. Mm. The Moink difference is a difference you can taste and you can feel good knowing you're helping family farms stay financially independent too. My favorite thing is you get to go in there and choose what you want. Mm-hmm. You want ribeyes this month? Okay. Yeah, Run them back. Look. You trying to stay off the cow? Want to get on the pig? Get all the pig you want. Pork chops. You a chicken eater? All chicken. All chicken. You want ground lamb? There you go. I, and look, I do slip in a salmon filet or two for my wife. Oh. She puts them on salads, and she claims it's really good. I'm more of a whitefish man, but there's something for the whole family. It is. Look, yeah, you can let everybody, you can let your whole family get on there and pick what they want. They'll put it in a box. It'll come right to your door. You're going to love it. We love it. Look, Shark Tank host Kevin O'Leary called Moink's Bacon the best bacon he's ever tasted, and Ring Doorbell founder Jamie Simnoff jumped at the chance to invest in Moink. And they guarantee that you're going to say, oink, oink. I'm just so happy. I found monk. There you go. And we know you're going to say the same thing once you track. Keep American Farming going by signing up at moinkbox.com slash duck right now. And listeners of this show get free filet mignon in every order for a year. That's one year of the best filet mignon you'll ever taste. But for a limited time, spelled M-O-I-N-K box.com slash duck. That's moinkbox.com slash duck. Time out. Right there. All right. What do you define as normal? Amen. And then then yes. I want to hear what you've tried to do. <laughs> well, no, no. Everybody, you know, if you don't uh if you don't fit in or conform to the way the human race thinks. Yeah. Okay, that's the normalcy. Okay. Well, I tried to do that. J D was talking about for a day. No, J D. I couldn't handle it but 10 minutes. <laughs> okay, I tried to be normal for 10 minutes. Okay, and then I, I just seen flat out, hey, normalcy, according to the human race, nah. We tend to this do this. Kid, this kid ain't going there. We tend to do this show in 10-minute segments. Yeah. What did you do for those 10 minutes? I want to see what normal uh, looked like for 10 minutes. Well, hey, I tried to conform. Okay. Such as I tried to fit in. When was this? Yeah. Oh, good grief. I don't know when I tried it. But, hey, after I tried it, <laughs> hey, I said, nope, that is not for me. I said, and here, here is my motto, and here's what I'm – you know, I'm like that guy that wrote the song about, hey, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. Okay. Okay. So I said, I said, normalcy is out. So that means, okay, everybody's always talking about how crazy I am. Well, that means crazy is in. Because anything I do, okay, if you put a little bit of crazy in it, it turns into fun. Okay? And I'm all about fun. Because if it ain't fun, guess who's going to be missing when roll call comes around? Your boy. When they say, Silas Barrett Robertson, Silas Barrett Robertson. Then somebody will say, he ain't here. Because it ain't fun. Because it ain't no fun going on. There you go. That's how you would describe your marriage, right? That's right. Crazy and I'd fun. have got rid of this redhead in a heartbeat if she wasn't a lot of fun. 
So okay. she's a lot of fun. Right. Me, me and this woman have had 52 years of nothing but fun. What's the most fun thing you've done? That's been with her. That's G rated. <laughs> oh, been with her. <laughs> every day, every night. Hey, no, it don't get any better. I guarantee you. Yeah. So Christine, do you feel the same way? Oh, uh, yes, I do. Oh, that's awesome. Right, this is my sidekick. This is my soulmate. This is my best friend. Love it. Okay. After 52 years, oh, you still crazy say that. as that's I am, fantastic. she still puts up with me and she's still there for the fun and the laughter. I guarantee. And we have literally had a blast for about 53 years. For you folks that always email in asking for relationship advice, Put that little section right there on repeat. Right yeah. there. That, fun. that right there is just what keep, it takes. Just keep having fun and keep forgiving each other for how stupid you can get sometimes. Yeah. Remember you love each other when yeah. you don't like each yeah. other, right? That's it. That's yeah. It. yeah. And if you, you got to throw away stupid, bells to stick together, yes. just throw them away, away, but make sure it's trash. Stick day. together through <laughs> Yeah, make sure he <laughs> make can't sure go dig them out. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Once you throw something away, make sure the garbage bin, take it away. Oh, my goodness uh, gracious. No, because I've had people say, you know, what do you think made your marriage last so long? And I, the only thing that I could come up with was because he makes me laugh. <laughs> he does do that. He does do that. He uh, you got him sipping his tea like he knows it. No, no, because it goes back to me when we met. That was a little light flex. No, no, yeah. I like it. It goes back to me when we first met and what she said to herself. And, oh, he's so full of himself. I bet there's a lot of people that said you're full of other things, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, especially yeah. with that jacket on. Yeah. yeah. But I did look really good. Man. <laughs> to have that jacket back. <laughs> That's right. Golly. Look, that thing literally, I'm serious. I, I I got the thing, man, when y'all asked me about, well, where, where it happened to it? Where'd it go? I wore it till it literally just run out, just threaded out. The house of the dragon's gone. Yep, the yeah. house of yeah, the dragon's just, It's just, it literally wore out. That's hard to do on a jacket. And that's hard to do. But you got to admit it, it was silk. And then he had these boots. Oh, well, do tell. <laughs> <laughs> Very interested. Do you remember those boots? Do we have time? Before, Cowboy boots? No. Before we go that far. Uh oh. Do we have Oh, pictures? she's fixed to remind me of something. Do you, do you I've have forgotten? like old pictures? No. Whether, okay. Dang. She's going she's fixed to remind me of something and I forgot them. Your boots? The boots. The okay. Boots. Yeah, back to the boots. I'm sorry. I was okay. just hoping for an old picture of the dragon jacket and him and boots and man, I I just Yes. You got them from um a store that was run by Indians? They were Mexican. Oh, the knee boots. Yes. The, yeah, Mexican knee boots. Okay. You had knee high moccasins? Yeah. Praise God. Oh, no. And then what he happened decided, to well, here we go. He decided to put this water repellent on it that stunk to high heaven. And guess like beaver happened? oil or something? Uh, and, get, and guess what happened to them? Trash day. Oh, no. Trash day? <laughs> oh, yeah. Bongo Tra bell? Trash gun. Trash gun. So, Christine, okay. what you're telling me is you ain't a hoarder. No. You'll throw uh, something out. Yes. <laughs> and she knows the day to throw it out on so yeah. it can't. Yeah. No retrieval. Back. No when retrieval. I had them boots on, I was actually the last Mohegan. <laughs> You got a little Mohican in you? Oh, yeah. I was the last one. Just, I was just the last the Indian down. alive <laughs> in the Mohegan race. So if I get you some of them boots, you're back. I, oh, and I and, and on that, I did look good at them, too. <laughs> did they have any fringe on them? Or yes, oh, they, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. They had the phrase on them. The the uh, the fringe. It's, it's, what, is, what is it called? It's fingerlings. Like tassels? Yeah, tassels. Looking looking thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. They were pretty before he got a hold of them. Yeah. Well, I was trying to make them water, um, waterproof because, hey, I went in the water a lot. I live in Louisiana, and I would get this, tired this of my feet getting wet. They look something like, like that? Yep, something like that. Yep. Cy yep. si was ugging for Uggs were a thing. Hey, so. That is amazing. Oh, no, look, you had seen me and Phil. Like a young Tom Brady. No, no, in, in high school, because every summer after school was out, hey, it was Mohegan, the, the haircut. You had a mohawk? Oh, yeah, mohawk. Did you? Oh, my. Oh, no, no, no. And hey. Man, I was born like And we years lived too in late. the woods, okay? So, hey. Yeah. You're talking about a bunch of animals. Yeah. So, you had the full 
Oh the, yeah, every every summer. Okay, the Mohawk. The boot, I mean, it, I look good in it too. The boots were Massachusetts, though. Uh, you had those boots in Massachusetts, Massachusetts. Uh, Massachusetts. Yeah, that was a good place. That's for what? Uh, Except the winter, he hated the, the winter. What was the fort? I can see that. I'm Fort Devon. Fort Devon. Yeah, Fort Devon. I was actually in charge of police call. What's that? Huh? Before you pick up all the trash of the post. Well, you okay. should have been looking harder. You'd have found your boots. Oh no, 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 no! What was great, <laughs> you know? I, so why I went over all over the post, and while I was doing this. Okay, this is right before duck season opens in in Boston. And they got a lot of black mallards up there. Yeah. And I found one spot there on a little river when I'd go over the bridge, you know, checking for trash. I looked down there and I said, hmm, them look like ducks. <laughs> and a bunch of them. So next, hey, duck season coming around, opens up, you know, and me and my buddy... No waders, and it's cold. Okay, snow on the ground. Mm -mm. We're chest deep in water waiting on mallard, black mallards to come in the decoy and whack them and stack them. And guess who shows up? The MPs. You know, I was hunting the major spot. <laughs> you know, and I said, I said, wait a minute. How? I said, I know Louisiana has this on the books, law books. This is a flowing river. So, hey, that's government property. That means I can hunt it. Mm -hmm. And I said, and uh, where did you, who did you say, uh, this is whose spot? The major. And he said, the major so-and-so. And I said, well, you need to go take, tell that major. He needs to go check with the wildlife people and the law. This is a flowing river in the United States of America. And that means, hey, it's government land. I'm in the government, so I'm going to hunt it. So just a little mild case of insubordination. That's right, just a little mild case. Yeah. Did you hunt with a major? Uh, huh? No. Y'all never no, hunted that's, together? No, that's what I told him when he showed up. Yeah, tell him, come on. I said, hey, look, let me get in the boat with you and pull your boat in here. We'll camouflage it. We'll just whack them together. Yeah, we ain't got to stand in this water. Yeah, we ain't got to stand in this water. I ain't you got, got a, a boat. I ain't got to ruin my moccasins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ain't got to ruin my moccasins wet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he didn't like it, but what was funny, Smitty, the guy from Georgia, my buddy. Oh, Smitty. Okay, look, we're standing there, and the MPs are talking to us, and about that time, here comes a cat squirrel, and hey, squirrel season's open. He runs between us and the MPs. I said, kill him, Smitty. <laughs> is it really an Army story without oh, no, a guy named look, Smitty? No, no. It really no, is. Hey, it, 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 so the squirrel runs in between us, Smitty just lets him get out there about 20 yards, just rolls him. With that big 12 gauge I'd let him shoot. Yo, know, the, the MPs went berserk. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I said, hey, I'm killing breakfast, son. What are you talking about? We fixed skin that sucker out and fry him up. Oh, man. You know? I said, hey, you do know the squirrel season is open also. Well, let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. Do we have any questions for Christine in the inbox? Or? Oh, I got a good relationship question. Love it. Y'all been married for 52 years, so I think it's perfect. Steven from Indiana emails in. Uh, he, he, um, he's he been married for four years, so he's got 48 to go to reach y'all's status. He It's the love of his life. It's a soulmate forever, but he's got one problem. Um. His wife insists on cooking and everything, and when she cooks, every meat turns into jerky. Uh -oh. <laughs> I've tolerated dry meat for way too long. I've mentioned subtly the dryness, but to no avail. What's a meat lover to do? Cook. Steven from Indiana. Cook it yourself. But she insists. Doesn't matter. You insist on doing something for her. That's what you do. Or, you know, Phil said... One of the things he taught me early on, he said, look, don't eat nothing bad. He said, you'll be eating it the rest of your life. He That's said, you got to tell them. He said, you got to tell them right then. He said, if you don't want to eat it the rest of your life, you got to tell them right then. I, I adopted that, but I, I softened it a little, you know. And I just said, hey, how, how about you let me worry about that? You 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 take care of the rest, and, and I'll do that. But it, well, That was like the first meal that we shared. I was supposed to do all the cooking, but... 
Look I did it. not know how to do rice. <laughs> that ain't even a subtle flex. That's just a straight flex. Look at him, homie. But just. We met, and I was supposed to get a home-cooked meal that I, I the, ended up cooking. I did. The well, then you chops. got one. I That's did. it. She right. didn't make you a promise she didn't keep. You got right. you a home-cooked meal. Yeah. I did the pork chops. There well, okay. you go. She did cook the pork chops. Fried them? Yep. Oh. Thin ones. Praise God. Ooh. Thin ones. That's one of them. That's chops. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, that little bitty tea bone. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Mm. That is one of the finer things in life, a fried pork chop like that. With rice and gravy? Yep. Yes. yes what's the what's the best thing, now that we own this, what's the best thing Miss Christine cooks? I, um, what's your favorite thing? Be careful. No, I just, no, no, I'm just no, no. legitimately He's curious. He's trying to think. Yeah. Uh, that's a hard one. Yeah. Okay. I was just wondering if there was one, yeah. like, you know, hey, it's going to happen tomorrow. I want my wife's. No, it's you know. funny because when she cooks, okay, it's usually uh, I'll say, okay, what do we got? She says, I'll, I'll look right quick. And she just throws a bunch of junk together real quickly. May want to. And it's, it's may want to change that adjective. No no, 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 and it's really good. Well, no, no, I'm serious. That's the way it goes. She just I was just goes talking in. about junk. You may yeah. want to remove well, no. that. She just goes in, opens the refrigerator, and says, well, okay, what have I got here? Okay, we've got this, 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 this. Okay, let me throw it together. And it takes her about 10 minutes to throw it together, and then tell her, hey, voila, it's great. No. But she ain't like Willie where she just throws everything in one No, 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 no. She ain't a goulash person. <laughs> okay. She's, she's from Kentucky, and they actually really cook specific stuff. Okay. And them hills and hollers. Yeah. Yep. yeah that's good. Yeah. Her, mo curious. her mother was a great cook. Oh, yeah. that's good. You yeah. got you got anything else for me? Oh, I got you something. I got some people that need some family advice. Uh oh, this is an interesting one. Get rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> divorce, divorce them, boys. <laughs> I'm just joking. Treat them like in bongo bells. Oh uh, well, yeah. What? Okay. What, what you got? This one's wild. So. uh... My man's from Grayson, Louisiana. That's pretty close. Boy, that ain't far. Uh, his name's Dalton. He's in a bit of a pickle. They rent, uh, him and his wife rent their house from his wife's grandparents. <coughs> okay. He thought it was a great idea at the time, but he was wrong. They come, he, yep. so his wife's grandparents come and go as they please. No knocking on doors or anything. Just open it and walk on in. It's beginning to put tension on his wife and him. Uh, they don't want, know what to do. But they, they'll come in and, like, they, they'll start eating their food. What? Oh, wow. I thought that was going somewhere different. They're just coming in there shopping. They use up their groceries, tell them they need to vacuum and do the dishes. And it's a four- to five-day-a-week ordeal. Lock See, my doors. suggestion I don't think would fix that. No. I was going to say, when you see them coming, just stand there naked when they open the door. See if they turn around and go out. <laughs> That's I do it. that about three or four times, and yeah. I bet they start at least knocking. But that ain't going to fix nothing if what they're coming in there for is groceries. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they just coming to hang out. But, you know, generally a couple of times seeing somebody naked, you start knocking or you change your I technique know. on that one. But uh, but I, I just, the easy thing to me is time to move. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like. Sigh, anything? Mr. Well, what I look, what I see here is grandparents are lonely. Okay, may, maybe all their kids have you know moved away. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if they're coming just you know and then making themselves at home, you got you got lonely grandparents. Yeah. You know, so hey, they're family. What are you gonna do? You can actually sit them down and talk to them and see if it'll help, or lock the doors. Lock the doors, okay. Or try what Mark said. Hey, <laughs> yeah. Just run around the house naked for about two weeks, okay. And, and that'll we'll, be a lot hey, of fun for you, dog. Hey. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that may ease some of that tension. That's right. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I, was, uh, that's, I didn't that's think of it from a... See, I was like, just move. But the, the grandparents' perspective is they might just be trying to well, spend time with see, you. Well, I've gone that way because I didn't get to know either one of my grandfathers. Mm -hmm. Okay, and it's always been a bad sore spot with me. Yeah. Okay, because my, my view about that is kids, grandkids get something from grandparents 
that there's it's not available anywhere else on this earth. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I spent a lot of time with my grandparents. I know yeah, exactly well, what you're and, talking about. And treasured it. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. Yeah. 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 Miss it every yeah. day. Oh, yeah. yeah. Even at 37. Yep. Yep. All right. So new advice. Schedule a dinner like once a week or every two weeks and see if that. And then the rest of the time, walk around naked. Yeah. And then the rest of the time, yeah. definitely just take all your clothes off and walk around naked. And see if that'll lead. See if it at least leads to a knock. <laughs> hey, and you can think of it this way. Yeah. It will probably release a lot of tension with you and your woman. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a good point. Okay. Raise the roof. That's it. Hey, have a party. <laughs> <laughs> well, send us out of here, Sean. All right. Well, we got the most joyful couple in the world uh, across from us. So. Psalms 95, 1 and 2, come let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before him with thanksgiving and extol him with music and song. There you go, baby. It Even if it's with better. bells, or y'all got joy <laughs> It over don't there. get any better. Amen. Christine, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, so that, that's the second best episode we've done. It's in the top two for sure. Yeah, I, and I, I just want to reiterate, there's always a chair for you. Yes, Whenever you want to come, you okay. just show up. We got you. So we'll see you all next time right here in the Duck Call Room. We're out. Wah, wah, wah.